Fashion Cafe. Today I am drinking water because I already had two coffees and Mama is not about to get even more hyper. When I was dressing myself in the morning, I did not realize that I looked like this guy. Uh, but let's just go with it. Also, can I complain about this pimple that's the size of Texas on my cheek that came out of nowhere? I don't understand. What did I do to you, universe? I'm a good person. Why? I just got back from New York and I couldn't wait to film this video because I was sitting on the plane and something like clicked in my head. Oh, by the way, are you guys subscribed to my channel? Because if you're not subscribed, you're gonna miss more videos like this. So click the button right there to subscribe. I feel like if you're a girl or a very stylish guy that's watching this video, you've probably been able to relate to the fact that you open the closet in the morning or whatever throughout the day and you just don't know what to wear. You hate every single piece of clothing that you own, even if you just went shopping. You hate it all. My number one tip is to reassess your shopping habits. Now let's talk about them, honey. When you're at the store, think of the things that you really wish you had in your closet when you're dressing yourself in the morning. Don't look at the cutest things in the store. Have a very specific goal in your head. Just like think about it in the morning. When you wake up and you open your closet and you search for things in your rack, and this is where I caught myself that I always wish that I had like really cute little fitted shirts with like a scoop neck, or I always wish that I had like the perfect pair of jeans. And I'm always just like opening my, my closet and it's not there. I don't feel like wearing whatever I have because what I have in my brain is not in my closet. So when you do go to the store, just make a mental note of those things that you wish that you had and purchase them. Now they don't have to be super expensive, they could be basics, they could be things that are esteem. And you know, like I always wish I had that perfect hoodie. And I'm so mad thinking right now, I still don't have the perfect white hoodie in my closet. Like what am I thinking? I would wear that every single day and I don't own it. Number two, purchase a rack and make a selection of 10 to 15 pieces that are your favorite things in your closet. Because your closet can get so crowded and so just you can just feel so claustrophobic. Even if you have a small closet and you just open it and stuff falls on your head and you don't even know what to do, just take the 10 to 15, even 20 of your favorite, absolute favorite pieces that are in season, that are in style, that fit you, and just arrange them on a little rack. Now you can buy like a $20 rack at Bed Bath & Beyond or you can get a really fancy one. I have one from Urban Outfitters. It's really pretty, kind of fancy, but I love it so much because I always arrange sort of the things that I buy that I don't know where I'm gonna put them in my closet yet or sort of my favorite items. So I always just kind of have something that I can pull from. Next one is a bonus one, color coordinate your stuff in your closet. I am not the most organized person in the world. Um, I do like to organize stuff all the time, but it gets disorganized very quickly. I'm very bad at keeping it organized, but my closet is color coordinated. Like it starts from white, goes to cream, beige, uh, orange, yellow, all that kind of stuff, so it goes in like a rainbow. So anytime I need to wear a color, it's all color coordinated and organized, so I kind of know exactly what I'm working with. The next one is pull a few pieces from your closet that you're not sure about and Google how to style them. For example, if you're not sure about your uh, khaki bomber jacket, just look up blogger khaki bomber jacket or look up how to style a khaki bomber jacket. If you're not sure about your denim overalls, just go and Google different ways in which you can style denim overalls. I feel like this is a great way to kind of find new pieces in your closet that you just didn't know how to pull off before or you only wore once because it was new. Do you have the same problem where you buy something and wear it because it's new and then you never wear it again? I do it all the time. Like I'll wear like some stuff that didn't even make sense together but it was new so I'm like, I had to wear it that immediate day. So I'm sure most of you do have a couple of super awesome pieces that you just simply either don't know how to style or forgot about them so you can give them some new life by googling some interesting ways on how to wear them. The next one is spend a night putting looks together and take photos of them and have them in your phone and this is something that I do for every single time I travel so whether I go to New York Fashion Week or Paris Fashion Week or I'm just going somewhere traveling and I know I'm gonna be taking outfit photos or just in general something that really helps me this is what I do I pre-plan every single outfit I take photos of them so I know exactly what I have in my suitcase so when I'm traveling I know that I have a total of you know six or seven outfits so I'm not just like putting a bunch of weird stuff together in my suitcase so I know exactly the kind of outfits I have and I can look on the photos on my phone and know what to wear and the same tip can be applied to your everyday life just spend some you know like two hours maybe putting some looks together find some inspiration 
take some photos on your phone, make like a little folder of outfits. So when you're stuck and you don't know what to do, you can just go through your outfits, go through your photos, and just select something really quick to wear without having to think too much. And lastly, obviously, clean out everything that you don't need. I've heard this a million times, people say if you don't wear it in a year, then you shouldn't keep it. Um, I don't agree with that. I feel like I kind of fall in love with the stuff that I haven't worn in a year all over again But I still I kind of get rid of a lot of stuff anyway because I do have to get a lot of stuff for different styling for shoots And I get very overwhelmed with the stuff that I own all the time So I'm constantly constantly cleaning out and recycling my closet Especially if there's winter coats if there's stuff that you're absolutely not going to use for the next four months You just don't want anything that will overwhelm you, you know clean out the bullshit So these were my five tips on how to stop hating everything in your closet so get your butt out there and make it happen don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here so you don't miss more fashion videos like this and on that note i love you guys so much bye